Hey, hey everyone, welcome to another Reality Skewed Gamers tutorial video. I am Finity, and today I am here today to present to you the mod optimization video. Now, this is going to be how to utilize a tool in order to make sure that your characters are best equipped with the mods that they need. So I want to give a shout out to our friends over at swago.gg who put together a great site and one of the things that they have is a mod tool. Now this mod tool really helps to make sure that you can go through your mods and see which mods you have and where you eventually want to put them on your characters. It's going to be especially critical not only for your arena squad but could play a big role in the upcoming territory battles because it's going to utilize your entire collection and having mods on those characters could become a big deal. So what we'll go through today is some of the different mods and that you would be looking for as well as basics on how to use that tool so you can optimize your squad when it's needed. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Now I'm going to assume that you all have already created an account. If not, you will need to create an account on swago.gg, so swgoh.gg. Make sure you go on there. Uh, if you haven't already created an account, you'll need to get your player ID. Now in order to get your player ID, what you will need to do is go into your game, click the little gear icon in the top left, and when you click on the gear icon in the top left, at the bottom of your screen you will see your player ID. Now this player ID can sometimes get a little confusing. You can confuse a capital I with the lowercase l with the number one, as well as confusing a zero and a, the number, uh, or, and the letter O. Um, so make sure that you may you set aside a little bit of time here in order to get your player ID correct, and it should load up in Swago.gg correctly. Um, they have they have added a lookup tool that should be able to help you with that using your ally code. So go ahead and use that. But once you get that set up, you will come to a page similar to this. So if you look here in the top right, you will see that we have what is called mods. And mods is the mod tool that we will be looking at in this video so you can help figure out where your mods are going to be best located. Now, one thing to remember, the mods that are showing up on this are mods that are currently equipped on your characters. So you will want to make sure that you have your good mods equipped on characters so that they show up on this page. Uh, a trick that Grande Patron uses, and I know that we have been telling a lot of people to do this as well, one of the key things to do is find mods with secondary speed. It doesn't matter what it is because eventually all characters will need some kind of speed, so even the kind of the crappier mods that have some speed are useful. So make sure you click that little lock icon on those mods, and that will help identify the mods that have speed on it in-game, and make sure that you equip those on different characters so you can at least get it. Now, there is a cost associated with de-equipping and equipping mods, so be very careful about over-equipping in order to get your mods up here. Uh, make sure you know how many credits you have and uh, how much it will cost you. But this mod, this uh, tool is very useful, but if you have the mods equipped on characters, so just keep that in mind. So, let's go ahead and go to the mods page here. When you go to the mods page, it will show you all the different mods that you have equipped on your characters. And you'll see that it has a profile of the character, as well as it tells you the shape, the set, and the mark, as well as all the different stats. This is what you will be using in order to figure out which mods should go where. So, in order to search for the most important mods, you will use this filters option. The filters option helps you break apart your different mods based on shape, based on set, based on the primary stat, as well as the secondary stats. So these are what you will be searching for in order to figure out where you want your best mods. So let's look at what you're going to be commonly looking for for your arena team. For your arena team, your key thing is going to be secondary speed. So you want to make sure you click this box under the secondary stat set for speed. And the only one that shouldn't have speed as a secondary stat is this arrow mod because the arrow you will want speed as your primary. So you can either search directly like this and just ignore the arrows or what I will do is click on all the other sets, uh, all the other shapes besides the arrow. So now you see I have five of the six shapes selected and with my speed secondary clicked. So when you apply filters, what it will show you is where you have your speed mods located and on what character. So you'll see my Darth Nihilus, which I use for PvP, has a 14 speed triangle. My Rex has a 14 speed cross. 
Rex also has a 13 speed circle, and so on and so forth. The majority of these are on my PvP characters. There are some, like Vader, for example, that has uh, uh, an 11 speed, but is not on my PvP character. So this may be something I'll need to look into switching. Now, some of these things you'll have to look into are also the set bonuses, depending on how uh, how many different mods and different sets you have. So um, depending on what you have, you'll want to make sure that you look at the sets as well. But for the most part, if you're starting up your arena squad, speed is what gets you kind of into that next range before you get to the top and then figure out your sets. So your speed secondaries should all be focused on your PvP characters as needed. Um, I keep my bays a little bit slower, so his initial taunt lasts a little bit longer. Um, so, for example, he won't have really my best speed mods. <laughs> so you also want to make sure it fits your characters as well. But this is how you do your different filtering. And for those of you guys that are looking to do those filterings, then this is how you would do it. And speed is one of the critical ones. One of the other ones, especially for those of you that are using Biggs and Wedge, so I just cleared the filters there. So when you use Biggs and Wedge, one of the key things you'll be looking for is critical damage. Because Biggs' special attack at the beginning will call Wedge to attack, and both of them are pretty much guaranteed a crit. So you will want to make sure that you get your crit damage. Now, crit damage is only available right now through two different ways. The first way is if you have a four-piece bonus of your crit damage set, and the other way is if you have crit damage as the primary stat on your triangle. Okay, So for this filter, let's start with crit damage on a triangle. So this is another one that you guys will commonly be searching for in order to try and get that crit damage on your, on your wigs if you're using them. So you will see that I have 36 critical damage uh, on my characters. I have one on Biggs. Um, my Wedge right now does not have one um, because I don't use him too much. I use my Biggs a little bit more in Galactic War, but I could easily switch one onto him as I have kind of extra ones that I have on Darth Maul, and I have one on Boba Fett, and I have one on Emperor Palpatine. So you have, you can see all of your different critical damage primary triangles. So this is another one that you will be commonly searching for. The other one that you'll be commonly searching for, as I mentioned, is crit damage. Now your crit damage, it'll list all of them here. So you'll see all the different. It organizes it based on shape. Uh, well, it starts off with the mark. So all of these will be mark fives. And they'll then go by shape. So it goes square, arrow, diamond, triangle, circle, cross, then it goes into the Mark IVs and continues to list them that way. So um, you want to make sure you search for your critical damage. You can also add another filter to this. So if you are using Biggs and Wedge in your arena squad, you may want to click on your secondary stats of speed on your crit damage set. When you apply this, you can now see where your critical damage is being used. So you can see I have mine currently sitting on uh, Chirrut on three of my uh, uh, three of my highest speed critical damage is on Chirrut. I have another critical damage that does not have speed, so that tells me that's something I can work on upgrading. Similarly, we have Wedge or Biggs with uh, two of them, three of them actually. Then we have some on IG88. We have one, two on uh, Wedge. So you can kind of see this is how you will be able to sort through your mods. Okay, those are some of the critical ones that you'll be looking for. Um, there's a lot of different options here that you can select from. Remember that they have to be equipped. Um, another set that you might be looking for is a speed set. For, for example, if you're running like a Sith Assassin, and it's really important to get your Sith Assassin to go early under the Zal lead in order to get your Sith Assassin to go first, give everyone turn meter, boost up your entire squad, you can search by your entire speed. And so now this is separated by your speed set. Again, with just the set selected, it will show you by the order of the shapes, so square, arrow, diamond, triangle, circle, and cross. You can then also add speed secondaries. So now you have your speed secondaries listed here. Okay, so now you have, again, it listed in the shape and the marks as order, but now it's only showing you the ones with speed secondaries. So you can figure out how you want to build your uh, mod sets. Um, if you guys need help reviewing your mods, 
just PM one of uh, one of the admins on the RSG Discord, so myself, Grande Ranger, and when we have time, we'll definitely be willing to help you guys out. But make sure that you guys kind of get used to this format, because this is how you will want to maintain your mods moving forward. Um, as you saw earlier, and I'll just kind of go back to it here, um, I've been hitting pretty much rank 1, so I've been kind of uh, complacent lately on my mods. And so this is when it happens where all of a sudden maybe you have an 11 speed on a Darth Vader that you're not using or a 10 speed on a Palpatine. Um, I think this one is more intentional because I'm not really using the offense set too much. So um, I didn't include that. But you can kind of see how as you start getting more and more mods, which a lot of you I know are focusing on, uh, on getting right now, getting these mods, equipping them on characters, leveling them up, at least to the point where you know how much your speed is being upgraded. So, if you have a D-level mod, meaning it has one secondary, that secondary is speed, you will want to upgrade it at least to level 3 to see uh, what your speed becomes. It's a little bit more set with your D because the only one that will get upgraded is your speed. If you have a C and you have two secondary stats and one of them is speed, you will want to upgrade to mark C or level uh, six in order to see how many upgrades, if any, your speed mod gets. And then you can equip it on a character and see what the speed is in comparison to it. And then if it's one that gives you an upgrade for a, a crucial character, you can upgrade it fully to level 15. If you have three secondary stats, so it's a level a quality B mod and one of them is speed, level it up to level 9 and see how high your speed goes. And if you have the golden one, so if you have quality A with four secondary stats and one of them is speed, level it up to level 12 and you'll be able to see how high the speed secondary will go because beyond that the secondaries will not increase. So level them up, get your speed secondaries listed, put them on a character and then you can compare to see if it's actually an upgrade for one of your characters. So this will help you kind of figure out the mods with upcoming game modes and trying to make sure you mod correctly for Heroic AAT or Rancor or whatever it is. You will want to make sure you use this mod tool because it's really helpful. So speed we were focusing on primarily for Arena. There are other things you can focus on too. So for example, a potency cross is something that would be useful in, uh, in Rancor, for example, with a Vader or more importantly with a Tebow lead. So when you do that, you can see what uh, crosses you have with potency. You can also then separate it by potency set. So you can get your potency set on characters. Again, you can add speed secondary onto your potency set to see where your potency mods are. So there's a lot of ways you can go through your mods in order to see how they fit into your roster. Okay, so if you haven't, I would recommend going out right now creating yourself a swaggo.gg account, get your roster synced up, and start reviewing your mods. Mods are, at this point, almost more important than gear. You can have lower gear in a lot of the PvE events, like some of these marquee events, but if you have really good mods on those characters, you can accomplish those tasks and finish those events. And so you want to make sure you're able to identify where those mods are. So that concludes our mod optimization video. I am Finity with Reality Skewed Gamers, and I hope you guys enjoyed that and learned a little bit. If you have any questions, please make sure to drop by on the RSG Discord. And otherwise, I'll see you next time.